The electrical power system is a man-made system that is an extremely bulky and complex network. The complexities in the bulky system cause instabilities, faults, blackouts, and inconsistencies in the power supply. Therefore, it is important to identify the fault during the initial stages before it badly affects the system performance and equipment. The electrical utility mainly aims to prevent the system from large blackouts and failures and deliver electrical power continuously without any interruption or delay. The growth of electrical power systems is a challenge for energy management systems to ensure a safe and reliable operation. This situation originates the need for tools that help to visualize and control electrical system variables using high-speed communications channels and accurate data, allowing the grid operator to estimate the state of the system in real-time through mathematical calculations. New technologies for monitoring electrical systems implement phaser measurement units, as a main element of measurement, to generate synchronized actions with sampling times exceeding those currently obtained with conventional SCADA systems. The process of conceptualization, components and architecture are required for the implementation of a WAMS data acquisition system for electric power system. The issues that were found during the SCADA system operation are the low sampling rate, slow detection of errors, and inability to provide time synchronization signals. The typical SCADA system from 1965 till the present count counts every electrical value to 10 seconds. This measurement is somehow bearable to monitor the power system in a stable condition, however, during the uncertainty and disturbance in the electrical network, this measurement level is not good enough to monitor the varying effects in the system. Advanced power system measurement technologies have a key role to play in the developments of smart grids. There are a number issues that make the development of wide area monitoring systems an extremely difficult and challenging task. Some of the prominent issues are sensor selectivity and intelligent data fusion, data paucity, integrated communications across the grid, advanced sensing and metering, sensor placement, analysis of incomplete data, bandwidth requirements. A synchrothesaur is a time-synchronized measurement of a quantity described by a phaser. Like a vector, a phaser has magnitude and phase information. Devices called phaser measurement units PMU measure voltage and current and with these measurements derive parameters such as frequency and phase angle. The measurements may be either fundamental components 50 or 60 Hz and of the positive sequence for the three-phase representation. Data reporting rates are typically 30 to 60 records per second. In contrast, current supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA systems often report data every 4 to 6 seconds over 100 times sl slower than PMUs. The synchronization of PMUs is accomplished by using a common clock as reference. Currently this is achieved via GPS satellites. This synchronization makes it possible to measure and compare phasers at multiple locations across large distances, ergo, PMUs are synonymous with WAMs, and with the term synchrophosaur. A simplified centralized synchrophosaur arrangement is depicted. Simplified centralized synchrophosaur arrangement. Furthermore, different other important parameters are included in the operation of PMUs such as Wide Area Management Systems WAMS, Phaser Data Concentrators PDC, and GPS. A wide area management system allows the power utilities and their operators to operate the electrical effect in real time which is done by using the new monitoring device PMUs. GPS has the advantage of timing consistency, a faster response to any event, and worldwide communication. These mentioned characteristics of GPS are useful in synchrophosaur technology. Also, the lost data during communication can easily be recovered by GPS operation. Wide Area Monitoring Systems WAMS are based on the new data acquisition technology of phaser measurement and allow monitoring transmission system conditions over large areas in view of detecting and further counteracting grid instabilities, current, voltage and frequency measurements are taken by phaser measurement units PMUs at selected locations in the power system and stored in a data concentrator PDC every 100 milliseconds, the measured quantities include both magnitudes and phase angles and are time synchronized via global positioning system GPS receivers with an accuracy of 1 microsecond. The phasers measured at the same instant provide snapshots of the status of the monitored nodes. By comparing the snapshots with each other, not only the steady state, but also the dynamic state of critical nodes in transmission and sub-transmission networks can be observed. observed. Thereby, a dynamic monitoring of critical nodes in power systems is achieved. 
This early warning system contributes to increase system reliability by avoiding the spreading of large area disturbances and optimizing the use of assets. Architecture of PMU The internal structure of the PMU device consists of many important electrical and electronic components that are promising in the accuracy and delivery of the PMU information. These components consist of GPS, modem, AD converter, anti-aliasing filters, phaser microprocessor, and phase lock loop oscillator. This analog signal is then collected by the A-D converter to transform the analog signal into a digital one. The digitized signal is then sent to the phaser microprocessor which calculates the synchronized data by a specified algorithm. Finally, all the internally processed data is transmitted to the processing unit and communication module for user interfacing. The global positioning system is used to accurately monitor a system response. It provides data information, facts, and the place of an object on any part of the Earth's surface under different atmospheric conditions. It is based on a space navigation system. The Defense Department of the USA initialized this project in 1973. It consists of 24 satellites to circulate in an orbit for operational purposes. The performance of the SCADA system relies on a steady-state power flow analysis, while the operation of the PMU and PMU is based on the real-time synchronized measurement of voltage and current phasers with high accuracy and faster sampling rate. The PMU was initialized in the distribution and transmission network before the introduction of PMU. Why Wide Area Monitoring Systems, Power Management, as a tool for the security analysis to ensure reliability and economical operation of the electrical system, are heavily dependent on the accuracy of the data provided by the measuring equipment installed on the system. In recent years, progress in system monitoring power and control has been possible because of Wide Area Monitoring Systems WAMS that implement phaser measurement units PMUs. When a PMU is installed on a node, it is possible to measure voltage and current phasers in some or all adjacent areas to this node with high accuracy, enhancing the efficiency of methods for fault detection and allowing to make decision to keep system stability. Problems with SCADA-based WAMS, data time skewed. Data scan rate up to 1 TO 10 seconds. Only magnitude measurements and phasers through state estimation time extensive. Advanced functions of energy management system or supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA, system monitoring, and alarm functions, state estimation, online load flow, economic load dispatch, optimal power flow including optimal reactive power dispatch, security monitoring and control, automatic generation control, unit commitment, load forecasting, log report generation, periodic and event logs, etc. Real-time information, real-time data is a source of valuable information for automatic control as well as for maintaining the stability of electrical power systems. It can also be used as a starting point for defining actions to recover the system after a failure. The analysis and evaluation of different events previous to a blackout have shown that a wide view of the network, network, as well as the availability of real-time information is a critical factor for the stability and reliability in the power supply. With high-speed real-time measurements, appropriate protection and control actions might be taken to ensure the reliability of the power system during the occurrence any event. Real-time information acquisition and transmission are key for the optimization of the system operation in wide area monitoring systems. In this regard, the communication architecture should be able to offer dynamic information in real-time and operational data for those who need it and when they need it. The communication infrastructure should have the following characteristics, bandwidth with capability to support the supervision of large area power systems with high speed data transmission. Low latency to support local area and wide area for protection and real time control. WAMS process includes three different interconnected sub processes, data acquisition, data transmitting and data processing. Measurement systems and communication systems together with energy management systems perform these sub-processes, respectively. In general, a WAMS acquires system data from conventional and new data resources, transmits it through communication system to the control centers and processes it. After extracting appropriate information from system data, decisions on operation of power system are made. Wide Area Monitoring Systems WAMS are essentially based on data acquisition technology of phaser measurements in order to monitor the transmission system conditions over large areas in view of detecting and further counteracting grid instabilities. 
Current, voltage and frequency measurements are carried out by PMUs at selected locations in the power grid generation, transmission and distribution systems and stored in a data concentrator every 100 milliseconds. The measured variables include both magnitudes and phase angles, and are time-synchronized via global positioning system GPS receivers with an accuracy of 1 microsecond. The measured phasers provide instantaneous snapshots of the status of the monitored nodes. By comparing the snapshots with each other, not only the steady state, but also the dynamic state of critical nodes in generation, transmission and distribution systems can be obtained. Thereby, a dynamic monitoring of critical nodes and power systems is achieved. These early warnings in the system contributes to increased system reliability by avoiding the spreading of large area disturbances and optimizing the use of assets. The implementation of a WAMS contributes to get an electrical system with the following characteristics, security, power system stability, observability of networks, network controllability, blackout prevention. Wide area monitoring systems collect the information from the power system, analyze the data and interpret the result, giving warnings to the system operator or initiating defense schemes in order to prevent stability problems. WAMS consists of the three major components, Phaser Measurement Unit PMU, Phaser Data Concentrator PDC and Communication Channel. Wide Area Monitoring Systems Architecture, Phaser Measurement Units are the input equipment for WAMS, PMUs measure voltage, current, frequency and frequency change rate as prescribed standard and sent to PDC based on the synchronizing time set on GPS. Then, the Phaser Data Concentrator processes, monitors and analyses the input data. Finally, the communication channel is responsible to transfer data from PMUs to PDC. The implementation of this architecture may have several objectives, however, it can be stated that WAMS basically allow to validate simulation models, comparison of simulation data with measured values of the PMUs. Identify system response with an analysis of the corresponding system damping. Improve state estimation in the energy management system EMS. Estimate the system stability index. Use as the guidelines for blackout restoration. Future developments and challenges, data exchange between transmission system operator TSOs is legally formalized by bilateral agreements at the moment, exchange and utilize data more efficiently technically, administrative, develop a high-level concept for real-time monitoring and an awareness system based on WAMS technology. WAMS is core system to capture dynamic characteristic of the system in changing environment. Major utilization of WAMS, the WAM technology may be utilized for the following. Preventing blackouts, improved state estimations, transmission line congestion management, accurate calibration of instrument transformer. Some functions of WAMS, grid model validation, stability analysis, real-time transient stability swings prediction, monitoring of inter-area oscillations, post-event analysis, fault detection, WAM data access and presentation, prevention of cascading outages, transmission line relay design, state estimation. Power differential protection, fault location, voltage stability protection, fault location, evaluating multiple reliability indices, model validation, dynamic parameter estimation, evaluation of security margin. Conclusion, the wide area monitoring systems collect, store, transmit and analyze critical data from key access points and power system, spread over large geographical areas, helping power system operators to continuously analyze all variables in real time to ensure a reliable power supply to customers. Improving WAMPAC in real time is required to achieve early warning systems, system integrity protection scheme, detecting and analyzing system stability, enabling faster system restoration, faster and more accurate analysis of a vast number of data during transient events validation and development of power system models.